Hello all, how are you? I hope you are well. In this video, I'm gonna show you where you can obtain wood scrap quick and easy in Fallout 76. We're gonna start off at Fallout 76, which is at the beginning of the game. Completely three, we're gonna to move to the south towards Lumber Mill, because at Lumber Mill, there's so much wood, it's unreal. So we're just gonna follow it down slowly, and you can put down a custom marker on whatever device you're using, and this will then will show up on your little radar in-game, and you'll be able to just follow it. So we're just gonna head south, and then we're also gonna head northeast towards the crater. The crater you can travel to for free, so you don't have to worry about it, and we're gonna be heading to the Prickett's Fort. At the Prickett's Fort, there's gonna be some lumber wood or some lumber piles that you can also take wood from as well. I don't have it discovered due to a low level account, so if you are a beginner, don't worry, the crate will be next to it, so you can just travel to that for free, so you don't have to spend any caps. So we're just going to keep heading south towards this little moonshiner shack, pick up logs and gather wood as you go along, you're just looking for these old little pieces of wood. But at the actual moon shack itself, you can actually just pick up supplies, chems, junk, whatever you need, maybe you can sell it, or just, you know, just help you out in a few workbenches in case you want to upgrade some gear. So it's going to help you out if you are new to the game, so I thought I'd just throw that in there. Continuing south, we're also going to pick up these gather and just all these logs that we can, just pick up as much wood as we can, and then when we're at the finally at the lumber mill, we can just gather, and you literally just want to pick this facility apart, you want to gather all the logs you can that you can find. Also, don't forget to jump on top of this truck, because you can get some log scraps out of this as well. So the wood scraps themselves, you can get one to about ten. And we're just going to gather, we're going to collect as much wood scrap as we can. If you are beginning of the game, you don't have to worry about it too much because you don't really have to worry about weight that much really early on. As long as you're not gathering absolutely everything, you should be okay. There's also a workbench there if you need to scrap things down. I added in the first aid kit just to help you out. Might be a little stim pack in there or something for you on your journeys. So now we're just going to head to the northeast to Prickett's Fort, well, Fort Prickett. And we're just going to go to the crater, which is free, but I'm going to use the nice edge camp just for the purposes of the video to save you some time who's watching. So once you're there, you just want to head up this little mountain side, this little cliff side, past these spike barricades and also past the log, in, the log cabins on the right. And there you go, it's then discovered this will now be permanently on your map and you can just fast travel to it if you have caps like that. If you're just rolling in caps like a boss, we're just going to head up, you want to go through the front gate. As you go through the front gate, as you can see here, there's just a bunch of firewood, just so much log piles here that you can just gather away. So just gather away, collect all of these as much as you can. Fort Prickett itself, you don't have to worry about any threats. There are ghouls that can sometimes spawn here, or even if there's an event sometimes nearby, it can spawn in ghouls here. But other than that, it's pretty much a passive area with, with no enemies at all. So you don't have to worry if you're a low level, you don't have to worry about getting invaded by ghouls or anything of that nature. So let's actually have a look now on how much I've actually gathered in our two 355 wood scraps that is a lot of wood scraps <laughs> and basically wood scraps is a very basic building material but it's going to help making your walls and all the sort of you know cosmetic items such as so thank you so much for watching if this did help you out consider dropping a like and i'll catch you in the next